I'm going to try and record tattoo again because I wasn't happy with the last version but it's very long it's like really probably only for my hardcore fans if there is one out there okay so here we go never mind the slow decay of summer the ebb to richer season days if you're plagued with overblown sentiment this story is not for you not that it's for anyone of truth be known, and truth will always float, my friend, truth will always float. I'd loved him for a while, my wandering boy, his eyes were patched and blue. He'd no past of which to speak, for words to rip my tongue and a hokum a pot boil me, and who would know its trip of his tongue was true? I'd never known so many tales, and each one so incomparable. Some might have said this fetch concern, and yes, some did, sniffed and griped, all spite and taunt, curmudgeon like to see this rambler come rambler bewitch as village lambs. That was I. Didn't skip a beat, all tipsy on his charismatic whims, and just as summer crowned herself in glory, so my blood rose rogue as weeds, ready and waiting to ensnare the compass of my wondrous imagination. I didn't need to wait long. A mere smile. The first time he spoke my name was when the sun blazed noon and all the world was mad with day. A mere brief. The next he slipped rose petals in my palm, then waited. A mere sleep. And this was the last time I ever slept in summer's caress where days are endless. For he told me his name, and all else might have been of wild ambition for the moment that it slipped his lips, I knew he spoke the truth. They call me Tattoo, he said. And then us both entwined, each inside each other's minds, we'd slept. Oh, forgive my mind now. It's wept so many times, it's prone to wonder. A little bohemian, it's become too far gone in time and place, where even after all these years, I'm still haunted by my passion boy's hallucinations. Let us have a smoke. Grief's avalanches need such soothing. So cold did I become when tattoo demolished me of all my reason. Of course, the days that followed were heady and rose water scented, as first love is prone to be. I let him use me as a book, each stitch of stretch taut skin prepared for ink and god the colours. From peacock blue to sunset gold, he commenced the language in my body that even if I lived to see one hundred, I sorely believed would never grow old. And here I fought the tartar boo. He'd press his palms into my chest and laugh, make my spine crack against the wrought iron bed where at its post. My hands were tied, but this here, and right beneath my eye hid needle, is where the river meets the ocean. This, my dear, will be our climax, a seal of our indelible union, when I've no intention to complain. For at the time I lived for stories where eagles spread their silhouettes and life's mysteries are woven dreams in silk mandalas. Besides, who was I to question what was right and what was wrong when day and night the beauty of my passion boy impressed each pleat and took of me with such exquisite intuition? Who was I to question what was wrong when he to me was God and I was young? A mere sip. He compelled my tongue with water spilt from pouch of leather. Tattoo had scoff. I have no need for drink. For just my name upon your lips is more than balm for ink prick skin. And this I said by time I'd been half done, and now I only ached for more. So contagious was his crawl of inking the water when he poured. It only made me beg the more for him. I should have known. I should have seen beyond his sculptured face and his rivet of exquisite eyes that impressed deep within his mystery and his sunburnt skin were secrets of an early's past. I thought he was a mystic, a visionary with a heart of sun, and perhaps he might have been, you know, perhaps it was my loss I never grasped the truth that lay beneath the uniqueness of such an unusual gift. Perhaps I lost all track of time became absorbed in what I considered sweet rebellion, a melt of days and nights and bodies of one all interspersed with kaleidoscopic interpretation, my favourite my fingers, each one inscribed with wolves and whimsically natured zebra faces, the most tender was my scalp, where he outlined haunting woodlands and ancient owls. Let us pause and take a breath right here, throw another log upon the fire, for cold souls need any chance of warmth there is, and you'll need a stomach tougher than a pirate's, if you ought to know the rest of it. I asked him only once to free me, just before my psychotropic world tip-top turvy, though I'd come to live inside his art as canvas, and my heart was, or so I had believed, contented. I miss the temper of the sea, and sometimes I swear I heard her quelling rhythms call to me. Not yet, he'd smile, and passion eyes hold too much draw to not beguile tomorrow, though. He'd lent him tight, he'd kiss the point right beneath my eye. 
flat into my page as a way to glass birds till I lay there completely helpless. Then here, our score sees crests and ink ablaze with golden fire and rich turquoise, an ocean fusing with a river, an ocean to sail forever, remember, well I let it lie that one. For it was so, not a patch was empty on my skin except my face, and ink endures far too well to start again or be erased. Besides, to know we'd reached the climax of our story, well that night I wept and wept, somewhat eased to see that he wept with me. Are you ready? For this is where we draw a close. This is where the whole world turns black and blue, even when colours are bold. This is where, of your grace with sentiment, you might wish to turn back. This is where the north wind blows, where pain has purpose, where truth is ultimate. Or even if you thought your bones were made of iron, you'll soon learn invincibility to be a filthy lie. This is it. My face had always been my glory, blessed with symmetry and skin pristine. But such sacrifice and sublimity meant nothing to me now, so accustomed had I become to the abstract of his needling. A mirror take me on a journey next day, he whispered, syllabic symbols, hot, hot, hot. Take me an owl, I moon dares to bear witness. Tattooing, tattooing, tattoo. Don't smile, don't breathe. Don't stop. Take me infinite waters and infinite tides and infinite legends. Take me where truths are not counted and days are not numbered. Take me where nothing is expected. Patterns because of the drums on cheekbones itch and etch and bite and burn and pinch. And so I lay outstretched whilst he patterned percussions and eyelids and forehead and temples and chin and lips. And then he paused. Now all this while I'd been untroubled, but on some unexpected change made me stir as from a trance. Perhaps a mellow drift of brambles, perhaps a light of dim to catch a different angle of his eye, and so I jerked, and abruptly there he stood before me as altered as new day from night, my man reduced to a leviathan, and steeped in a chill of an awful compulsion. Tattoo, I cried, but as I felt ink's final prick, I knew I was too late. Summer fled, and autumn rushed in. Pattern percussions, pattern, pattern, pattern percussions, pattern... They found me many days alone, still bound to squalid bunk where Tattoo had kept his secret hidden. Unrecognisable and defiled, my kinsmen cast me out to tramp a vagabonded way for a mutilated migrant, and of Tattoo I searched. Though deep down I knew he'd slipped inside, found his way into the stories in which he dinked incautiously his capricious and impulsive dreams. I think that's why it calls to me the sea. And this is why we're here today. Because sometimes I think that if I too could track him down, scrub all the tales, sell the seven seas, all the tales from his coercive tongue, till ink dried up and only water poured from him, I think. Huh. But excuse me if I sigh. I always do this time of year. Autumn has a habit, seems, of catching me as... I see you too, so unaware, but hush now, do not despair. Do not pull against these chains that bind you to this bed. I warned you, see, this story's not for anyone, but still you choose to stay and listen. Still you chose to stay. I'll flatten down your own scored pages. This ink will finish the story I've started. Dream celestially etched to the depths of your skin. I'll do unto you as I've done unto me, then free our room to find my boy. In oceans and beasts, my home, the elects of all these Empyrean scenes to your skin I bequeathed. Do not scream. Here as I go as a gift of my tears and a story to you of the one they called a mirror and a passion boy a mirror loved shh, 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 shh. don't tug they called him tattoo ta-da